Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in once again and I've just continued as Azazel for some reason. That's not what I meant to do. Anyways, um, I apologise by the way that the last few episodes my microphone was a little bit quieter than normal. I hope it didn't put any of you off too much. Um, as I've previously mentioned, my microphone randomly got a lot quieter recently, uh, like a few, like a month ago, it just got a lot quieter, and it got a lot quieter again, and I just don't know what's wrong with it, like, none of the settings have changed, nothing's happened, it's literally just getting quieter, completely at random, and see... Oh, delete is to delirium, okay, okay, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just sort of not sure what to do, because it's like, I think I need to buy a new microphone, but I'm not sure, because what if I buy the, because I, I really like the microphone I have, what if I buy the exact same microphone again, and it actually does turn out to be a software issue, and it doesn't change anything? Also, um, why aren't I able to change from the I love you person? What the hell? One minute, let me restart. It didn't let me, uh, pick my... Pick my bit flip version. What the heck? Hopefully it does this time around. Um, so yeah, I just I just don't know. And it keeps quieting itself. There you go. Um let's let's play as Hero Dickabekasakata, whatever they're called. I really I really find them quite fun. There you go. This guy is is tough as shit, but I really, really enjoy him, and this is not the room for this guy. I'm gonna take damage in here, aren't I? Um Actually, to be, fair, to be fair, they didn't really move that much. But yeah, this guy, we get, we can only gain HP by taking negative effects, which makes it pretty uh, pretty necessary to take ne negative effects, but also, that is risky. We do start with slightly higher damage than normal, I believe. Um, actually, no, we start with slightly lower. Oof. Oof. Anyways, we'll see how we go. Um, cherry bombs. Cherry, cherry, cherry bombs. Okay, I can't even hit these guys. Come on now. Get back here, but I am I am doing a, a wake and bake with Isaac. By that I mean that I'm playing Isaac literally seconds after I've I've gotten up. Um, sometimes I find it like nice to do commentary slash um, this when I wake up. Okay, so on heart get ten. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, lose one coin after seven hits. Lose one bomb. It's not great, but that is two negative effects, um, and uh, it gives it gives us a full soul heart. And yeah, basically on touching a heart. Although I'm not actually sure if that will work because we technically can't pick up hearts. Oh no, it does work. Good, 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 good. On a heart, we get temporary. This way, I think only lasts for a single room, which isn't great. But eh, it's what it is. What it is. It can it can be useful in some rooms. Um, yeah, I'm reasonably enthused by that. Reasonably enthused. Okay, thank you for killing that guy for me. Um, and yeah, getting negative effects that aren't like super detrimental really, really good to try and do as early as possible, because some of the negative effects you come across are insanely detrimental, and you really don't want those ones. But yeah, if anyone has any suggestions, it's it's a Blue Yeti microphone. If anyone has any suggestions or knows what might be up, then please let me know. But it, it might just be something I can't fix. It might just be hardware related, and I'm kind of just shit out of luck, I guess. Um, but I really hope that it is something software that I've just missed, but I've checked all my settings, I've checked the window settings, I've checked the microphone settings, um, I've checked everything for what it, what it could be, I've checked OBS, it's all on 100% volume, um, exactly as it has, has always been, oh god, uh, and it just keeps getting quieter, dude, already lost the, the heart that I got, I, this might be a, a fat restart here, just because, do you know, that enemy, that enemy can absolutely go and fudge itself, it, just, god damn it, go away. Hate you. I'm not dealing with a beater. Come on, soul heart. Oh wait, I don't even think we can get soul hearts even if we got one from there. Okay. I should check the shop because I might be able to buy an item that gives me a, a negative and see how that goes. Um... Every five rooms spawn a random monster. Each room spawn a shop item. Spawn nine grab bags. Each boss kill get. That's pretty useless. Um, ooh. On heart use. Oh my god. That's scary. Um, on hit. That's kind of good. Spawn 16 fortune teller machines. I am going to bomb this. And I'm going to. Oh my god. Look at my face. 
Really? That didn't give me enough money? Okay, okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. I really thought that would give me enough money. Get out of here, beater. Really, none of these give me any pennies either. Oh hell. Okay, we got one penny. We're one penny off. To be fair, we should be able to get one penny in this room just from destroying pots, I'd her. Really shouldn't do this while we're in combat, because it's just going to spawn more spiders, yep. But I took the risk. Alright, let's kill the enemies first, and then we'll go bombing stuff. Oh my god. That's a lot of parts. What? Come on, game. Not a single penny for all of those? That, oh, that's, 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 that's the sort of shit we needed. Good, good, good. Okay, so... Um, every kill, get a 10, but on hit, 30% chance to spawn two random monsters, 93% chance to spawn a viz. Let's take that. Is this an invis invincible viz? No. Good shit. Good shit. Oh, fuck are you, you stupid bitch. Fuck are you. Okay. Back we go. We will buy the bit flipped version of this bad boy. It's gonna be scary, but... I think it's fun. Oh, what the fuck? Everything turned into burn fragments. Um... Yeah, I'll take this as well. Oh, I can't afford this, goddammit. Can you give me two pennies? No, you cannot. Big bastard. Okay. It's because I'm using Bitflip, and using Bitflip loses us one coin. A little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, one sec. Right, let's keep this party moving. Yeah, so... We're going to be using D4 a lot. I can't remember what it, what it said that we use D4 on. I really can't remember. We get to spawn a shop item every time we, uh, thingy nail though. Again, don't destroy these pots until we've killed all the enemies. It's just going to make me sad. Oh my god. Oh no. Every time we get a kill, we get a stompy. But that makes us really, really large. Oh god. Didn't think about this. Did not think about this. <laughs> In certain rooms, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. Um, I like to spawn a shop uh, shop thing every, every floor, though. That's good. Don't jump. Yes, you bastard. I got you. Oh, God. Oh, God. This has become rather horrible. Okay, I can't remember what it said, like, when it said we D4, but it should be soon. Oh, my God. I'm doing such low damage as well. This guy keeps spawning stuff, and I can't manage it. Dude. <laughs> the, that, the, I didn't really think about how awful Leo would be there. Truly, truly terrible. My goodness. Truly, truly awful. Fun, though. Fun. Right, I still like this character though. He's he's tough as nails. He's really hard to play as, but that just adds to the challenge. I've never beaten him, and I really really want to. Uh, you've got to sort of find a really broken combination of items to, to get him rolling. I think. Um, oh really? Do you know Do you know what I was saying the other day? I don't know if any of you remember. Um, what I was saying about how like sometimes you'll play Isaac and you'll play like a few a few matches, a few matches, a few runs in a day, and you'll never see a type of enemy. There'll be a type of enemy that you don't see the entire day, and you play another day and you just see like four rooms with the same type of enemy over and over and over again. And this is definitely one of those enemies. Sometimes I I just do not see this guy. Sometimes he's just like the rarest motherfucker, and other times it's like, hey, his room's full of them constantly. Oh, this is a book cheek of a room. This. Luckily, it does pretty much just to solve itself after a sec. That's rather nice. Uh, I've not done question of the day yet. Uh, as for question of the day, hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. Dude. 
I think maybe the toughest thing about this guy might be the fact that you start with literally only one soul heart. If you start with three soul hearts, this guy would still be very tough. The fact, the fact that you only start with one is kind of brutal. You know, very, very little to go on. And you have slightly lowered stats, lowered speed, lowered damage. It's kind of savage. That's what it is. It's kind of savage. Come here, headless boy. Um... What's a goal you're trying to achieve right now that you're having trouble with? Reflux, um, that's pretty good. 39% chance. Okay, so, spawn four grab bags, every kill 90% chance to get whatever that is until the next floor. Upon going to the next floor, get five batteries. Do you know what? I know it's really risky, but I'm just going to take reflux because I can do explosions with reflux. And even though I could die... Oh no. Even though I'm going to die? Yeah. What? Why did I... Why did I decide to walk into the middle of that? What What could that have possibly achieved for me? Oh lord. This guy, he's, he's a tricky bastard is what he is. He's a real tricky dude, but... I think it's it's really just about getting a, getting a good start. If we can get ourselves a good start, as in like... We can get ourselves a good amount of downsides off the off the bat that aren't super detrimental. So we can get ourselves two uh, two like soul hearts to go. Then I think we'd be in a good spot. But that's just not happening at the minute, is it? And also, I want to be finding the item room like early, and we're just not at the moment. We keep finding the item room like right at the end of the floor. I, I'll be honest, game. I do not appreciate the way that you're doing that to me. Good, 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 good. Tinted rock there, which isn't super valuable for us, but I'll crack it nonetheless. Although I could have just used that to crack it. God damn it! Yeah, it just disappears away from us. Right, let's go back down here because I think the uh, I think the item room might be off the off of this room instead of off of the big one. And I was correct. Good, good. Oh, I do love hard characters though. I've been playing the Lost and stuff, and that guy's been tormenting me as well. It's all fun and games. Risky, especially with our HP situation. Okay, every kill chance to get a temporary worm trinket. Every five rooms, five percent chance to use a pill. Every kill, two percent chance to use that book and lowered tears. Really not very good. Lowered tears is not what I'm looking for, but um, I guess we just get what we're given. But um, the three percent chance on kills to use that book, I don't exactly know how that's gonna work. I'll be honest, I'm a bit confused by the prospects of that, because I'm pretty sure that book is the one that you've got to write yourself. Is that going to pop up a menu, like, potentially when I get a kill? That's going to be real annoying if it does that. Get over here, you. Nice one, jumper. My little hippity hop boy did it for me. So we'll have to see how this plays out. We've got a lot of, uh... Small percent chance for us to do things. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, this is... Okay, just pause the room, though. I think. Yeah, these guys can still go for me, apparently. Um... It's violent. Right. Okay, that's useless to us, apparently. Okay, we're just restarting again. We, we need a good start. We need a good start. We need one actually decent deleted item off the bat. Because otherwise, things are just going to be really horrible for us. And I, I know that this is a 13-minute episode, 14-minute episode, but we haven't even left the first floor yet, really. But um, we need something better. Don't you dare hit me, little scoundrel. Do you know what I hate? I hate it when spiders do that, where they're, like, sat but nestled behind something and they're just like, nah, I'm going to chill here until you come in front of me. It's like, no. Move along, man. Move along. Yeah. Ghosty boy dealt with. You dealt with. Come on, item room. Give us something precious. I've got to remember as well that I don't have to take a, a deleted item. I can just take a regular item. It's just, obviously, I want the downsides to heal. Especially early on when I have such low base HP. I got a really itchy nose for a minute there. All my morning foibles are coming out at once. 
Okay, good, good. Grab that, shall we? And let's see what we've got going on here. So, we've got plenty of bombs over here. Thank you, Spider, for volunteering yourself as tribute for that little uh, explosion there. I'm not quite sure why you decided that was a good idea, but I respect the effort. Very strange of you. Very strange of you. Oh, my God. Calm down, my little spidery boys. Oh, my God, there's so many in this room. Come on now. Come on now. What are you doing to me? Dude, was this room not long enough? Why do people do this? Why do you have to have your rooms last for an ins- Oh my god. Fucking spiders, man. Fucking spiders. Why do they move the way that they do? Get off my ass. That was a tragic room. Why, why was it so long? Spelunker's hat doesn't do much for us, so we'll be uh, changing that over. Um, each room 20- Oh my god, really? Well, this is going to be bad. I'm probably going to die, but it's what the game wanted, I guess. It's what the game wanted. Um, every four minutes, spawn four grab bags, get a temporary whatever that is. Every 80 seconds, spawn 13 troll bombs. This is the, the path of the troll bomb, apparently. Apparently that's the main thing that we've got going on right now. Also, apparently it's got upgraded into a dime at some point. I don't really know when that happened, but I shall take it, I guess. But yeah, basically, every room there's a decent chance of troll bombs, then every 80 seconds there's a guaranteed chance of troll bombs. Um, it's going to be an explosive old day, uh, so we're probably going to end up dying, but apparently the game's just been mean to me and really doesn't want me to have a good first deleted item. Like, nothing of value, really. Nothing that gives me an item right off the bat or anything. There you go. I mean, we've managed to avoid things so far. I said that too soon, didn't I? I said that too soon. Oh, this has been a hell of a run, people. A hell of a run. Or a hell of an episode, should I say. This has just been brutal, brutal pain. Of course, you don't spawn the bombs in the boss fight where they'd actually be useful to me, would you? That'd be just too easy. Good, good, good. Don't know. Why, why did I take that? Why did I just pick that up? I just saw hit. Oh, my God. Oh, this is tragic, people. This is tragic. God damn, this is so tragic. Oh, boy. Beautiful pain. Um, on grab bag spawn unborn. On 13 kills, use whatever that is. Just give it a go. Things don't have enough downsides, and the downsides they do have are bullshit. Okay, thank god we got rid of that fire, because now you can't walk your way into it. We get two of those, which give us quite a lot. Unfortunately, it's temporary. They don't, they don't last forever. Okay, we're fine. Keep her going. Keep her going. What left? Okay, you were easy. Oh, look at that damage upgrade we get for every time we hit a heart, but unfortunately, we're only getting hearts after combat in the majority, so it doesn't make it quite as good as it would be otherwise. We're getting a lot of hearts, though. We are getting a lot of hearts. Okay, so we used that. That didn't do anything for us. I don't know if it, I don't know if it does anything to the stuff in the room or not. I'm unsure. I guess that's something we'll find out later. Okay, we do have one bomb to use against whatever boss this is. Oh my lord, dude! Really, with this boss? After all I've just been through, and you're gonna give me this boss? Man, this boss sucks so hard. Look how far he launches those dingle dips. And one of you's dead, good. 
Luckily, the dips don't really go for you. Oh, I slipped on his poop and went straight into him. Okay. Um, on active use, use that. On black heart, spawn a, uh, spawn a bomb. Each boss kill spawns six wooden chests. On Arcade's cookbook, get clapper. Each arcade gains speed. Every kill, 60% chance to get um, skipping stone. After five hits, 91% chance to spawn. Okay, we'll take that. Intriguing. <laughs> that was a lot of positive effects. A lot of them didn't amount to much. But we do get flat stone apparently now, and we get wiggle worm. Which is actually pretty good because it gives us a start upgrade. And yeah, now we've got flat worm, um, flat stone as well. Flat stone unfortunately doesn't stack, I don't think. But if it did, it'd be crazy. But we're gonna have a lot of flat stones. A lot of flat stones. I think having two wiggle worms is increasing the amount of wiggle, because it seems to have a much more vigorous wiggle than normal. I don't know if anyone else can tell that. If it's just me being weird, but this seems to be a very vigorous wiggle. Okay, we've got fire boys at this side as well. Not going too bad here. I've backed myself into a corner, which isn't great, but we're dealing with it. We're dealing with it. Why won't you die? There you go. Still don't know what that little letter that we hold above our head is meant to do. A penny. No, thank you. I'll be okay without the penny, thanks. Why'd you have to be a champion? It's making it rather hard to hit things, but I don't know. This is going better than before. We've got a little bit of HP. And by a little bit, I mean literally got half a heart more than we started with. Good. Penny's galore at the minute. Right, item room we're at, though. If I don't get hit here, wow. Kind of a miracle I didn't get hit by any of those little jumpers. Do not know how. Do not ask me. What do you guys do? You, you guys just leave fires around. Also, this gives us Spectral too, which is real nice. The Wiggle Worm giving Spectral is like such a good change. They made him Repentance. I think that was a Repentance change. Yeah, it definitely was. It definitely was. Okay, we found our item room. We don't have a key though, sad. This could give us one though. Come on, come on, come on. Three coins? Why? Don't don't not give me a key now. That would be absolutely brutal. I need my items for HP. Otherwise I'm gonna die a swift, swift death. You guys hippity hop your way over. Do not hit me. I will be distraught if you hit me. Good still no key though, baby. Oh, we're having fun. Oh, we're having fun. Oh, what joyous fun this is. Without a key. We've got four flies from that. Come on. Ugh. Game. Why do you... And then we have to fight this guy? Really? You're going to make me fight this guy? Oh, my God. That bullshit attack and all this crap. Dude, I can't fucking kill the little weedy little fucker. Get, ah, get off me, you shit. Fucking, oh my god. Ugh. If someone doesn't make a mod to get rid of all the Fiend Folio bosses, I'm going to lose my shit. These bosses are such ass. They're, they're des don't get me wrong. Their designs are fantastic. The effort that's gone into them is great, but they do not fit the game at all in terms of difficulty or pacing. The way in which they show up and where they show up does not match how the game's style is set to be. Like, there is an established level of difficulty per floor for the bosses, where they should show up. There's an established amount of attacks that bosses have. It's just, don't... Don't reinvent the wheel just to make the boss look cooler, because all you've done is made the boss a frustrating amount harder and have some really bullshit attacks. But, oh, I just... Oh, goddamn hate that boss. And he's got that ridiculously long invincibility phase in the middle as well that just makes him even more intolerable. It's like, oh, God. 
Please. I might have to, like, get the rules and, and have a mod that changed them over, but even then, the rules can be really buggy when doing stuff like that, so I don't even ever want to do that. Um... Whatever that is. Spawn seven Shriders. Okay, that's fine. I don't know what this item that we've given ourselves is. We've got seven of them. No, we've got four of them, sorry. I'm not exactly sure what it does. Can I see? No. <laughs> Useful. Oh! Might be that. Might just be that. Enemies came in already doomed. I'm guessing what it does is one of them has a random chance. Having one has a random chance to give one enemy that effect, but having multiple of them means multiple enemies can have that effect. Wow! Just launch a spider directly on top of me. Thanks. What the fuck, game? <laughs> Thanks for the constellation prize. Okay, this has been a tragic, tragic episode. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed nonetheless. I don't, like, I don't want to end the episode here because it's a short episode, but I, I, I can't physically play on. I'm just not, maybe it's because I'm playing in the morning, but I'm not physically capable. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.